Hey everyone, welcome back to another Jersey Collection video. Today we're doing the Detroit Red Wings, and I'm pretty excited about this one. I think we have about six jerseys to talk about, and I'll give you my five favorite jerseys from franchise history as well. Um, but before we get going on that, I am filming this one quite a bit earlier than what you guys are actually watching it now. It was probably filmed weeks and weeks ago, uh, just kind of for reference. I'm not sure when this is getting released. But I'm filming this the day that the Hurricanes were eliminated, so very sad about that. Moment of silence. Alright, let's move on. If you guys haven't seen my intro video, I'd recommend going and seeing that. Uh, if you guys have and you're all caught up, perfect. We're kind of getting close to the end here. Um, but before we kind of get started with that, can you guess the player up there? I think this one might be a little bit tricky. A uh, little hint, he's one of my favorite all time. So, Starting off with the first Detroit Red Wings jersey. All right, so up first we have the Detroit Cougars uh, from 1926 to 1927. This was kind of the style that the Detroit Cougars would wear, uh, who would eventually become the Falcons, who would eventually become the Red Wings. And this is the style from 27, or 26 to 27, and obviously they brought this back, the style, kind of back in 2009 for the Winter Classic against Chicago. Obviously not the exact same one. This is an actual, like, sweater sweater kind of thing like it's heavy super warm in the winter very soft very comfortable to wear i got this actually as a christmas gu christmas gift from my mom so this is one of the original i'm gonna call it a jersey but it's a sweater this is one of my original jerseys uh, i love wearing it for pond hockey out in the winter it is enough to keep you warm and comfortable um, absolutely incredible it doesn't have anything on the back these sweater jerseys I have seen done with a name and number. Obviously, I wouldn't get a name because they didn't have names back then. Uh, I want to get a number on here. I just don't know who can do it or where I can get it done. But I've seen them done. Uh, everyone I've talked to said that they can't. So if I can, I would love to get like a number 6 or 10 or something on here. Uh, just a number that I would like wearing. And then, yeah, this is one of my go-tos for like pond hockey. Up next we have a coho, I guess technically this would be in a road jersey, um, kind of from that 90s style with you know Fedorovs and Lindstrom and Kozlov and Iserman. Uh, I got this jersey actually for free. Mika sent it to me. I actually unboxed it on the channel as well. Mika was kind enough to send this along my way. It is blank. I wouldn't mind getting probably Fedorov put on here I feel like. Uh, very soft jersey. I really like a lot of the old Coho jerseys. Very, very nice. And not a lot has changed from uh, the Detroit Red Wings. I mean, at times they've had kind of different, like, number styles and everything, but for the most part, their jerseys are always very consistent and really happy to have it. Mika, thank you. Up next, we have a Detroit Red Wings jersey from 2007 up until 2011 because of the old RBK logo. Vector logo, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I did buy this blank. I got it actually here in Calgary at Source for Sports. Uh, I did have it sent out to get Zetterberg put on there. Got the A put on there and pretty happy with it, honestly. I think it's one of the cooler jerseys that I have in my collection. Um, yeah, it's a long ass name bar, that's for damn sure. But really, really happy to have it. Up next is the 2007 style home jersey, although I consider it from 2000. 11 up until 2017. Uh, I got this pretty dang cheap, I believe, at Pro Hockey Life. Maybe Sport Check. Um, really, really good price, and obviously it is blank, as you guys saw. I would love, absolutely love to get Daniel Alfredson on this. I truthfully wasn't really an Alfredson fan until he played for Detroit for that one year, and yeah, I know a lot of Ottawa fans would kind of shake their head at me, but I don't have any Senators jerseys that I would get Alfredson on at the moment, so I really liked him in Detroit. I feel like I need his jersey, so this one will have to be it. All right, up next we have the 2017 Centennial Classic from their game against Toronto. Absolutely amazing, beautiful jersey. I love the silver in the logo. I like the silver striping here with the Stanley Cup um, years engraved. Well, not engraved, but kind of into the jersey. Really, really cool touch. Gorgeous looking jersey. I love this in full uniform and watching that game. I didn't like the Toronto jerseys, but I absolutely love Detroit's. 
Actually, I got this jersey from free for free as well. Neil, yes, that Neil, was kind enough to send this out to me, and I'm really, really happy I have it. I will probably get Thomas Tatar on the back, or maybe, maybe Peter Morazic. I'm not quite sure, but yeah, really, really happy who I'm getting on here, or having this jersey, I should say, and really cool. I didn't think I was going to ever get this, so Neil, thank you. All right, and up next, uh, we have the current row jersey. Now, at the time when these first came out, I wasn't a huge fan of them. I thought this red in the collar here should all be white and just have that little thin stripe, kind of what like the Hurricanes do, um, just have that red so it wouldn't be quite as a thick thing of red on the neck. But I feel like I kind of actually have grown to like that quite a bit. I did get this jersey through Ben H Sports. Uh, it is blank. I am probably going to get... I'm not sure if I want to do Verona or wait till I can find a home jersey and get Verona because he had those four goals in that one game. Wearing the home one. Uh, maybe Nemesnikov. Or maybe Svechnikov. Uh, Phil Peronik might be a good choice. I'm not quite sure. I'm going to wait and see until I get a home jersey. Because I do want the home jersey to get a UC Jokinen jersey for his uh, preseason that he had there. And I probably would get a second one just to get a Verona jersey as well. Um, but yeah, I kind of have to get a few more jerseys from Detroit before I can fully confidently decide on who I'm getting on here. Um, but yeah, now we are moving on to a bit of a surprise. All right, so normally at this point in the video, we would do my top five favorite jerseys after I've shown you all my jerseys, but I haven't actually shown you all my jerseys. We have a little something to unbox. Unbag. Um, I ordered this, and, well, I kind of made my peace with it that I wasn't going to find it uh, on sale, so I was literally just about to order it for full price and I was talking with Neil and I told him what I was gonna get he's like oh hold on one second here and he sent me a link and I was able to get it on sale for a bit of a discount so Neil thank you again you've really helped with my Detroit Red Wings collection um, yeah let's open it up here see what we have so I got this through sport check for 25% off, and it is the Detroit Red Wings Reverse Retro. Now, I know myself included was pretty harsh on this um, to begin with when they first kind of came out, and honestly, as much as I really am disappointed that this silver stripe here, this silver stripe here, and this silver stripe on the bottom, or gray, was not red. That should have been all red to kind of make it similar to their like 40s style jersey. I think they had from 39 up until like 52 or 53. And then it probably would have been, in my opinion, one of maybe the top three best reverse retros. I know a lot of people would still disagree, even if they were red on the uh, stripings, but the reason I got it a, I need to get some more Detroit jerseys so I can have some different players on them. So I think I might do Nemestikov on this. And then maybe Verona on the road one if I don't get two home jerseys. But yeah, the reason I wanted this was because it's really unique. And not in the sense of striping or anything like that, but Detroit doesn't change their jerseys a whole lot. So when you're you know, on Google in 15, 20 years, and you come across highlights or a picture of a player wearing this jersey, you're going to be like, what the hell is that? Detroit never had that jersey. But they did for two games, and yeah, now I have it, so I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, I think this is one of the jerseys that you need to get name and number on there because it just adds a lot more character to the jersey uh, with those big red numbers and lettering. 
So I think this will look good with the name and number on there at some point. All right, so my top five favorite Detroit Red Wings jerseys in their franchise history. Number five, I think I'm going to go with their reverse retro. I haven't put a lot of thought into this particular part of this video. So uh, going back and watching this, I might be going, what the hell was I thinking? But there's, I just unboxed it and I'm looking at it and I like it. So I'm putting it at number five. So there's that. Uh, number four, I'm taking their current road jersey. I actually really quite like their current road jersey. Um, again, maybe not my favorite one that they've had, but it's a very clean, classic looking jersey and I can't really find any faults with it. It looks really great on the ice. Number three, I am going with that 2009 Winter Classic kind of Detroit Cougars style jersey. Really like that stylized D and the striping on there is really, really cool. I didn't really care for the red version that they brought back for the alumni game a few years later, I think in 2017. And I know I feel like probably that's kind of what people were hoping for for the reverse retro. I wasn't. Uh, but that white version that they had in 2009, Magnifique. Is that how you say it? It's fantastic. It's fantastic. I actually really like it. Number two, I'm taking their jerseys that they had from 1934. I believe it's 34. I think it said 39 earlier, but I think it's 34 up until 56. Uh, that white jersey that they had and the one that I was hoping for for the reverse retro. I don't know. I've never actually seen that jersey in person. I've never seen it actually used. I've barely seen any pictures. It's a hard jersey to find pictures of. But if you look at it like on NHL Uniform Database or whatever it's called, fantastic website by the way, I really want this jersey. I need to see it and that's what makes the reverse retro so disappointing. Um, yeah, I, I really, really like it and I pray to the hockey gods that this jersey will come back at some point. Number one, I am taking their current home jersey. Again, just a classic, iconic, beautiful jersey that really hasn't changed throughout the years, whether it's Reebok, CCM, Coho, Starter, Nike, whoever in the past in the 80s and 70s like it's it's been around for a long time with very very minimal change obviously again kind of some of the number fonts uh the size of the winged wheel or whatever might have changed but for the most part this thing has stayed very very consistent and i love it i know a lot of people seemingly don't really like it uh i think detroit fans love it and i think that's the most important thing i love it as well and i'm Really hoping I can find the Adidas one in my size, but the full size logo, that'd be fantastic. All right, but that does it for this video, guys. Really, really appreciate you watching. Stick around for the next one. I believe that one will be the Dallas Stars next. And yeah, let me know what you guys think of the collection. Tell me your guys' favorite Detroit jerseys as well. Did you like the reverse retro? Is it? Did I convince you with my arguments? Probably not. I know I'm not very good at arguing, but I'm happy to have it. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys want, you can check me on Instagram and Twitter as well. Those will be down there. And yeah, I'll see you again. Take care. Bye.